English Idioms Explained, on its last legs. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom, on its last legs. This phrase is a colorful part of the English language, used to describe something in a state of near collapse or failure. Whether you're a beginner or advancing in English, Understanding such idioms can greatly enrich your language skills. Let's explore what this phrase means and how you can use it in everyday conversation. On its last legs is an idiom used to describe something that is about to stop working or fail. Originally, this phrase referred to a horse or other four-legged animal that was too weak or old to continue standing. However, today it's used more broadly. For example, if a machine is old and close to breaking down, or if a person is extremely tired and can no longer continue with an activity, they are said to be on their last legs. It's a metaphorical way to express that the end of something's functional period is near. To better understand this idiom, let's look at some examples. One. My laptop is on its last legs, it crashes all the time now. Here, the phrase indicates that the laptop is old and not functioning well. 2. After running the marathon, I was on my last legs. This shows that the speaker was extremely tired or exhausted. 3. This old car is on its last legs, I need to buy a new one soon. This suggests that the car is very old and likely to break down. In each case, the phrase, on its last legs, is used to convey the idea of being close to the end of usefulness or functionality. When using, on its last legs, in conversation, it's important to remember that it's a metaphor. You don't need to be talking about actual legs. It's about conveying the sense of imminent failure or collapse, whether it's about an object, a person's energy, or even a business. It's commonly used in casual, everyday English and can be a great addition to your conversational skills. And that's a wrap on the phrase, on its last legs. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use this idiom confidently in your English conversations. Idioms like these add color and depth to your language skills, making your English more natural and fluent. Keep practicing and don't hesitate to use on its last legs next time you see something nearing the end of its rope. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.